A Fort Valley family still searching for answers after somebody tried to break into their home this morning. Juan Gay Reese learned more about the investigation and how the family is coping after a frightening start to their day. Cars drive up and down Oak Street in Fort Valley to catch a glance at the scene after a morning home invasion. But for Sheba Elamine, it started as just a regular day. I left out for work um, around 7 a.m. Then Elamine got a phone call from her partner, Cedric Perry, saying someone broke into their home. He just said she was turned around, come and get the kids. Somebody tried to come in the house and I shot them. Fort Valley Police Chief Lawrence Spurgeon says Perry shot 32 year old Xavius Bivens in the torso while a second intruder ran off and the couple's daughter witnessed it all. Elamine says by the time she returned home, the intruders were gone, but her house was a crime scene. I was unable to see my children. I was frightened. I was on the verge of a panic attack because I didn't know if everybody was okay. Her two kids are okay, but Fort Valley police are investigating why someone would break into their home, especially since Elamine says they've helped Bivens in the past. Someone who we have given clothes to when he needed um, it just disturbs me that he came here and tried to invade our home. And Elamine just wishes things played out differently. So for this to happen, for him to come into our home and put my children in danger, that's what has me so upset right now. So I'm just glad my children are okay. But I'm not sure how my nine-year-old will feel tonight when she goes to sleep or tomorrow. In Fort Valley, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. Again, the second suspect has still not been caught. Fort Valley Police asking anybody with information to give them a call at 478-825-3383.